So we've all seen those car flipping videos on YouTube and TikTok. People are making thousands of dollars flipping cars from Facebook Marketplace. But here's what they don't show you, the absolute grind behind it. I'm talking about spending hours every weekend scrolling through endless listings, manually checking the prices, calculating profit margins, and still somehow missing all of the best deals. So that's when I thought, what if we could automate this entire process? What if there was a way to let technology do all of the heavy lifting while we focus on actually buying and selling? And guys, that's exactly what we built. The system scans Facebook Marketplace 24 seven. It automatically calculates profit margins, it flags all of the problem cars that you should be avoiding, and it even ranks the deals by the return on investment. Guys, honestly, I wasn't sure if it would actually work, but after letting it run for just a couple of weeks, I realized that I wasn't just saving time anymore. I was actually finding deals that I would have completely missed doing this entire process manually. So let me quickly show you what our automation will give, okay? So in the spreadsheet, you can see that everything was perfectly placed for me, making the entire process so easy. I can clearly see the car model, I can see the category, the price, and even the ROI. So take a look at the recommendations. And you can see it even tells you which deals are good and which ones you should actually pass on. Guys, this is a game changer for anyone looking to flip cars, and I am about to tell you how you can get this for yourself. And the best part is, guys, you can get this entire automation that I already made for you for completely free. Literally, all you have to do is go down into the link in the description below, and here you can join our free school community. Okay, guys, so once you are on this page, you need to go to the classroom section, and in that section, you can find all the templates that we already made. Here, you can see the details and find the visual framework and if you scroll down you can see the JSON template with all of the links that you are going to need join it today guys you are not going to be disappointed but right now guys I think it's time for us to get into creating the system so guys the first thing that you need to know is that this entire system it works in five connected parts okay and I can promise you they all just run so seamlessly together okay so step one is the Facebook marketplace form trigger which acts as your control panel where you can define your search criteria your query terms your price range your location and what types of cars you actually want them to analyze then the next step is the Facebook marketplace scraper which connects to the API and it leaves all of the matching listings it handles the pagination to collect the titles the prices the locations and also the car details from every relevant post then the next step is the data normalizer, which processes raw listings through sophisticated cleaning logic, and it extracts vehicle details from all the messy titles out there, and it applies strict junk filters, which is basically going to make sure that it automatically removes all of the titles that you wouldn't want to see. And then also that is going to be the things kind of like repair buffers, um, the brand specific costs so it takes away all the junk so that you can see the best profit potential Okay, or best bang for your buck Then the next one guys is finally the car flipping expert is going to evaluate each opportunity against 50 plus risk factors including the title status the maintenance history the brand reliability and it generates a clear bypass recommendation that is going to give you detailed reasoning and it stores everything that you need to know on a Google Sheet for your review afterwards. So the coolest part is once you're done, you can take a look at the spreadsheet and everything will be there. It's not just gonna give you the information and just you have to take it blindly. You can actually look over everything yourself, but it's gonna do an incredible job of actually taking away all of the junk, making the entire process even easier for you. So next guys, it is time for us to import this automation inside our NA10, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to download the free template and then you want to go onto your NA10 dashboard and you want to click on create new workflow. And then you want to make sure that you click on the three dots right above. So now you can see import file. And here you want to upload the recently downloaded JSON file. Okay guys, and there we go. It is now imported. Now it's important to adjust the following nodes, okay? So those nodes are the only ones that you are going to need to adjust by yourself the rest of this is all 
already pre-built and you don't even have to touch them okay so you can basically edit them and make them more personal if you want to but right now guys for the video we are going to confirm the red nodes okay so let's start with setting up the Facebook marketplace connection this is what allows the workflow to search for car listings so you'll need to configure the Facebook marketplace scraper node which currently shows as red because it needs your API credentials so to get your rapid API key for Facebook marketplace you just need to go to rapidapi.com and create an account if you haven't already once you're logged in you can search for Facebook marketplace in the marketplace section and then you'll want to subscribe to the free tier for the Facebook marketplace API okay so look for the one that specifically mentions marketplace search functionality so after subscribing you'll see your API key in the end points section so copy this entire key and then return to the N8N and paste the API key into the X rapid API key field in the header section of the the Facebook marketplace scraper node and then make sure to save the node after adding the key so you'll also want to verify that the other header is set correctly okay so that's X rapid API host that should be Facebook marketplace one dot P dot rapid API dot com okay and the query parameters are already pre-configured to pull from your form inputs so that you don't need to modify those unless you want to change the default sorting or the filtering behavior and then next we need to configure where your results will be stored okay so the store output node connects to Google Sheets to save all of the analyzed car listings so you're gonna click on this red node to begin the setup and then first you'll need to connect your Google account so you're gonna click on the credentials drop down and you're gonna select Google Sheets OAuth 2 and if you haven't connected to your Google account yet then just click on add credential and follow the OAuth flow to grant anything access to your Google Drive then make sure to use the Google account that has access to the drive where you want to store your data okay so once connected you will need to specify which spreadsheet to use the node is kindly configured to update a sheet named car underscore flips in a document ID so you actually have two options here number one is you can use this existing template by making a copy and number two is you can create a new spreadsheet and you can update both the document ID and sheet name in the node parameters so whichever one is easier for you so if you want to create a new sheet make sure that the column headers match exactly what's specified in the nodes column section the system expects specific column names like ID title year recommendation etc etc and you can see the full mapping in the nodes configuration so the final red node handles email notifications the workflow sends two types of emails one when no suitable cars are found in your search and number two when the analysis is complete with viable opportunities so then you're gonna click on the red send email nodes for each one you'll need to connect your Gmail account so you're gonna click on the credentials drop down you're gonna select add credential choose Gmail O auth 2 and you're gonna follow the authentication flow to connect your Google account and guys the emails are pre-configured with appropriate subjects and messages but you can also customize these in the node parameters so the no cars found email trigger when all listings are filtered out as junk or not worth your time while the completion email sends when viable opportunities are actually being found so make sure that the send to field contains your email address where you want to receive these notifications and you can add multiple email addresses separated by commas if you want to notify any of your team members or just your team in general. The AI is pre-configured with strict car flipping criteria that prioritizes protecting your investment. So it automatically rejects any salvage, flood or rebuild titles. Um, vehicles that are over 25 years old luxury cars that are over 10 years old unless the ROI exceeds about 80% then also any listing with needs work in the title or description or anything that is very similar to that and then lastly vehicles that are priced under $2,000 or over $35,000 but the cool thing is guys that you can adjust these thresholds in the car flipping expert node prompt if you want to modify the risk tolerance. So now guys it's time for us to test the workflow. So you can start by running the Facebook marketplace form trigger manually and then you're going to use conservative search parameters at first and then I want you to try something kind of like this query let's put it at Honda Civic okay then minimum price $3,000 maximum price $15,000 
um, condition use the underscore good and then city Los Angeles or you can put in your own local area and then days since listed let's put that at seven and number of items how about 50 okay so that just means how many items they are actually going to list for you so that means they're gonna look at the top 30 and they are only going to give you those 30 okay so now you're gonna click execute workflow and you're gonna watch the process unfold, okay? So the first run might take a minute as it has to connect to all the services and check each node's output so that you can verify that the data is flowing correctly. So number one, after the scraper runs, you should see your Facebook marketplace listings. Then number two, the data normalizer should reduce this to only legitimate car listings. Then number three, the financial nodes should add cost estimates and ROI calculations. Then the next one is the AI I should generate clear recommendations for each vehicle and then finally step number five the results should appear in your Google Sheets and you should receive an email if all of that is actually happening guys then you know that your entire workflow is working perfectly and it's flowing correctly so guys pay special attention to the AI's recommendations because the system is intentionally conservative it's basically trying to save you from wasting your money okay so it would rather you pass on 100 marginal deals than lose money on just just one bad flip. So look for listings marked strong buy or just buy as your best possible options. Okay, anything else, handle it with a bit of caution. So if you get no results, try broadening your search parameter slightly. And if you get too many junk listings, then the normalizer might need to be adjusted. But you can tweak the junk detection criteria in the first code node. And guys, if you follow all of those steps, you will have the perfect way to basically spot all of the deals and also to sort through all of the junk and to find the perfect cars for either you or for your flipping business. So now you are fully equipped with a fully automated car flip advantage that no one else has so let the workflow crunch the numbers surface the best deals for you and also keep the pipeline full while you can focus on turning opportunities into profits guys guys run it trust it verify it and just fine-tune it to match your perfect strategy and when you are ready to level up then join our school community guys the link is in the description below guys we share the wins we share the support and this is the place where you can keep sharpening your edge in the flipping game and guys this is the space where you can always keep sharpening the edge it's been a whole lot of fun guys i will catch you on the next one